a humanistic industrial village, Saltair. The name of this man is Titus Salt. He was a successful businessman during the Industrial Revolution in the 19th century. In 1851, he founded a model industrial village in a rural area and named the town Saltair after himself. The centre of the village was his mill, known as Salt's Mill. The canal was the main means of transportation. Look at how large it is inside the mill. It was believed to be the largest factory space in the world in those days. What it produced was textiles. At its peak, the mill produced some 30,000 metres of fabric a day. Workers' living standards were extremely low, and contagious diseases often raged in the slums of Bradford City. The average life expectancy of poor workers was only 20. To improve the situation, Titus Salt decided to build a new mill and houses for his workers in Saltair, a few kilometres away from Bradford. He felt that productivity could not be increased in Bradford's unhealthy environment and he did not want to see his highly skilled workers die young. Saltair village had gas lamps and paved streets to keep the town safe and clean. He banned residents from keeping animals for hygienic reasons. The village had 850 buildings, including hospitals, pharmacies and churches. Salt wanted to create his ideal village here. When Titus Salt saw that sometimes workers did not return back to work in time after their lunch break, he built a dining hall near the mill. The hall was always filled with people. Saltair became famous throughout Europe and various groups visited here to inspect the facilities. In his later years, Salt also built almshouses to accommodate retired workers. The ages of the people who passed away in this almshouse are inscribed on this tablet. They all lived long lives. In this unique village, people worked well and lived long. The success of this model village has ensured that the accomplishments of Titus Salt will never be forgotten.